Happy June 20th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and the party worked their way carefully through the town of Mudbrook while the rains pour down and the streets begin to flood. We managed to not injure ourselves, and we even scooped up a warding ointment that came bobbing along in the water, and that is where we left things. So, Let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we know what this is. Okay. Well, we have a cleansing crystal. Uh, so even if we get cursed. So this is about whether we use the cleansing crystal or not. Because if we get cursed, uh, I'm using that right away. Hopefully you all have <laughs> cleansing crystals now too. Uh, okay, here we go. The torrential rain finally abates as the sun begins to peek through the clouds. Just as you get a moment of peace, the hourglass you hold begins to vibrate with a menacing hum. A violent glow emanates from it. The light brightens, pulsing with growing intensity until a surge of corrupted energy escapes once again. Okay. Um, ensure... Uh, sorry. Endure the surge. Roll d20 plus constitution. Reminder, danger sense. So, oh, 20. <laughs> Excellent. We get a boon die for that. And that's the best result here. Uh, you steel yourself against the powerful corrupted energy, demonstrating resilience. We would have lost varying amounts of health if we didn't make that roll. And now, channel the energy. d20 plus wisdom. Our wisdom is plus two. Reminder, arcane adept. We are not an arcane adept, nor do we have an arcane adept in our party. Uh, as the surge of corrupted power courses through your body, you must concentrate on maintaining control and preventing the curse from overwhelming you. Use your inner strength to resist its adverse effects. And we have brilliant hourglass, so we get a plus two. Uh, no. No bonus on this roll. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so here's our wisdom roll. <laughs> Three. Three plus two is five. There's no way we're getting this. We need to get it above, fifth, above 14. We need a 15 or better to resist the curse. So, the corrupted power resists your attempts to overcome it. It intensifies within you, causing a surge of chaotic energy that affects your control and precision. You are now cursed. And that would mean that every every roll we make that's a test of uh, these traits over here would be done at disadvantage, meaning you roll twice, take the worst. Um, this condition is removed during a rest or... If you consume a cleansing crystal, which we shall now do. <laughs> so, good job us buying a cleansing crystal. We are now fresh out of cleansing crystals. And we'll buy, be buying at least one <laughs> the very next chance we get. So, bye-bye cleansing crystal. And bye-bye curse. Okay. Well, that, my friends, is June 20th, so we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. There we go.